How hard would it be to find every single end portal on a Minecraft world? Today, I'll recount the story of Project Marco, my quest to publicly document all end portals within the anarchy of Purity Vanilla. A while back, I joined a Discord server called Purity Tech Archive. It's really cool, you should join it and found that there was an incomplete list of end portals documented by a player called Melwin22. End portals aren't really something I think about very often. After all, there's no real need to find end portals once one has been discovered on a server, since they all lead to the same spot in the end. However, this list got me thinking about how cool it was that there were still undiscovered portals. Unlike nether portals, end portals can't be built, they have to be found. In addition, there's only so many of them per world, 128 to be exact. All of those hidden portals locked away inside of unknown strongholds. That got me excited. It's extremely rare on servers of this size to be able to do something that no one else has done before, and that no one will be able to do again. Thus began my quest to document all end portals on Purity Vanilla. Originally, I couldn't think of a cool sounding name for the project, so I just called it Project Stronghold. Yeah, it sounds really dumb, but I ended up changing it later, so whatever. I used the portal locations that Melwin discovered, along with an online tool called Chunkbase to make graphics of all end portal locations on the server. Basically, Chunkbase takes whatever seed you give it and shows you where all the biomes and structures are on that seed. I merged a few screenshots of the Chunkbase graph for end portals, fancied it up a bit, and slapped Melwin's portals on it. It wasn't long before I started hunting for portals myself. Melwin and I shared information and hunted together. My graphics went through a bunch of revisions, and Melwin was really great at pointing out massive flaws in my graphics which I somehow missed. So he's to thank for how much the graphics improved over time. As we gathered portal coordinates, the graphics evolved more and more, and they ended up being hugely helpful for everyone who helped find portals. I say everyone because there were eventually a lot more people in this project than just Melwin and myself. I invited my waifu Thesto to the project, and he's actually the one who came up with the idea of opening a bunch of portals consecutively, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. As I continued finding portals, I saw quite a few signs made by Robert D, a player well known for his technical knowledge of the game, among other things. These signs all talked about some Project Columbus, something which I can only assume was Robert's personal quest to find all of the end portals. I reached out to him about it, but let's just say he was not keen on the idea of making all end portals public, and had a variety of choice words for me. If we couldn't be friends, then we would be rival explorers in the hunt for the portals. Taking inspiration from Robert's Project Columbus title, I renamed Project Stronghold to Project Marco after the famous explorer Marco Polo. Robert wasn't the only one visiting many of the end portals, though. I also found signs left by a player named Yerkes, and when I reached out to him, I found a much warmer reception than my last attempt. It turns out Yerkes had quit the server, but had a list of some end portals from when he used to play, and he was kind enough to share them with me. He ended up rejoining Purity to help with the project, and ended up being one of its biggest contributors. In the end, 123 Mining Master, Cool Cash 10, Thesto, Weffy, the owner of Purity Tech Archive, and Yerkes contributed to the project, along with Melwin and myself. The portals we found varied. We found portals which had been discovered long ago but never documented publicly, portals which have never been touched, portals with farms or builds around them, and even a portal cut off by a chunk border. This broken portal is one of the coolest things we discovered throughout the project due to its absurd rarity. We found a lot of portals, 132 to be exact, which is four more than would exist on a normal Minecraft world. Purity is far from normal though. It's been through two seed changes, causing chunk borders where terrain generation suddenly switches height and biome. Due to some areas where end portals can spawn being loaded in the first seed, and other areas being loaded in the second seed, there are four more end portals than there should be. Well, at least four. We'll get to that later. To the best of our knowledge though, we had just documented every end portal on Purity Vanilla and thus Project Marco was completed on February 28th of 2022. 
After Thesto suggested we open a bunch of portals consecutively, we secretly started recording all unopened portals. Whereas Melwin would update the list in the Purity Tech archive with new portal locations, and I would update my graphics in that Discord too, we left out portals which hadn't been opened yet, making sure that our group was the only one who knew that they existed. Eventually, I took my graphics off the Discord to avoid people getting too interested in this project and stumbling across unopened portals. We called this sub-project of opening portals consecutively, Project Marco Polo, referencing not only our chosen explorer, but also that game people play where one person is blindfolded and shouts Marco and tries to locate their friends by listening to where the responses of Polo come from. We wanted to play this game using not our voices, but end portals. See, when an end portal opens, it makes this sound. The sound isn't just audible to the players who open it, it's audible to the entire server, similarly to Withers. We would open one portal, Arco, and then the next, Polo, over and over again. There were 16 unopened portals, and the biggest issue I envisioned in this entire project was getting enough players to pull this off. If we didn't have 16 players, and I feared we would have much less, we would have to travel between portals, forcing us to extend the time between portal openings. To my surprise, we were able to gather 11 players using a total of 14 accounts. That meant only two players would have to travel in order to open all the portals. With our group at the ready, we hopped into a voice call on the Purity History channel, a Discord I created to record projects like this, along with player, base, faction, and event history. We all got into position, and after a server restart, I began the process by shouting Marco in the chat, failing numerous times to use color codes. Dot, it's the dot, and then the and. Yep, the dot, and the add thing. Dot, and? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go for it. <laughs> it's what's All right. Take All right. four. While Festo opened the first portal of 16, after 30 seconds, the next portal was opened with a polo in chat. 14 polos followed, all within 30 seconds or less of each other. Chat was going wild, with many players confused what the noise was that they were hearing, while others were trying to figure out how so many portals could be opened at once, and others still wondered if it was possible to close and reopen end portals it was an absolute blast for me take a listen 10 9 <laughs> 8 7 6 i am 5 4 3 2 1 someone thinks we're closing and reopening portals 20 seconds that's not even possible what i know <laughs> 5 4 3 Two, one, go for it, fake. <laughs> That's still you're up next. All right, all right. Three, two, one, That's still go. <laughs> two, one, hit it. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Two, one, hit it. Let's go. Hit it whenever you're ready, Sopa. All right, let's go to the end. We're ready. All right. Jump in, jump in. I'm in. What's up? We gotta up? go way up, huh? Where are we? Let me see this. Who wants to respawn it? I have stuff if nobody else has it. Oh, let's go. Let's do Woo! it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey. All right, now we're gonna get ambushed. People know we're here. Oh yeah, I need a spyglass too. If anybody has one? Here, um, I'll just pass it on. Here. So everybody's gotten it now. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yes. We got it. We got it. Nice, nice Let's play, go. guys. Nice play. Oh my gosh. We should get a screenshot before- don't go in the portal, let's all get a screenshot. Everybody come down by the portal and we'll get it. Ah, oh, Who was that? I, I, it that begins! Was not me. <laughs> that was not me. I haven't dropped in yesterday. Oh my oh, gosh. Somebody just got murder lighted. Who was that?
That was me. I got I got camped. This project was an absolute blast to lead. I had so much fun with it, and I just want to thank everybody who contributed, including Thesto, Viking, Major Sopa Fake, Melwin, Swag, Cool Cash, Yurkus, Crash, and Mining Master. Also, thanks to Weffy for making a chart of all these end portal locations where you can hover over them and see the exact coordinates. We've added it to the wiki, we've added it to the Purity History channel that I talked about. You should definitely join that Discord. It's just a neat place to record history alongside the wiki and have these big discussions about it. We used this Discord for the entirety of Project Marco Polo, setting it all up and everything. It was really, really helpful. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!